the Dutchman Pass Road. And go down this road for about 0.4 miles to where I'll eventually park. I arrived at this area where I like to park. Kind of a flat area. You can see a lot of uh, ammo casings all over. I'm gonna go up another mile up this road, hike up there. That'll take me to basically the climb up point. And these are the peaks that are my destination for the day. On my last scouting hike here, <laughs> I walked by these guys using pumpkins for target practice. From a distance, the slopes up there look vertical, but as you get closer, you can actually see the, uh, the angle and it looks more reasonable. As a reference point, if my CRV could have made it here, this is where I would have parked. Made my way down the road a little bit to get back to this trail I found from before. I came up from over this tower, just kind of following the train up, following that trail the best I could. It is getting incrementally steeper. I go up this way. This rock is a little bit slippery, but not as slippery as the red rock. Looks like I'm transitioning more to this red rock. That should give you a good idea of the slope. Yeah, this is very slippery. I'm just gonna go straight up this way. Up two steps and back one. Even the big rocks can slide down. This is as far as I got on my last scouting hike. I'm about to go on the other side of this rock, see if I can get up to the ridge line. Whew, it's a good workout. So I made it past this rock here. So to go up to the ridge line, it just looks like so right here anyway, an easy climb up. It's even a bit slippery here. Gotta go up that way. Yeah, I hear gunshots in the distance. People come out here and shoot. So I path up this way and up, up, up. I'll 
see what it is, what it's like when I get to that point, getting up. Coming up along the side here, to go further this way, you'd have to get on the slope and go up. Looks doable. I can imagine people come up this way. Go up there. Alternately, you have to explore the wall. Yeah, coming up, up, up. It's pretty much a slope. A bit more to go too. Okay, I reached the top of where I was aiming for and now it just continues to go up. Oh shit, fucking big rocks, come crashing down on me. Especially this one. A little bit further up, <laughs> that does look steep. A little bit further up, I see daylight. So I think this is where I wanna go. And I just follow the ridge up. Oh, I made it to the, to the ridge. I came up from this way. I've gotta go up here now. You know, I hear gunshots over here. This is uh Las Vegas gun shop or gun something. So Mount Scorpion is up there. So I have to go up here and over there. I came up. Closing in on the top of Mount Scorpion. Well, here's the top of Mount Scorpion. It's like a peak register in that little that bottle. Some other artifacts here. The next destination this peak here, Black Hill. Gotta find a good way down. All right, I'm just gonna go down this way and just going up. It's a little bit steep coming down. You gotta make your way down carefully. I start my ascent now to Black Hill. 
Here's the path down from Mount Scorpion. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's a bit steep. Got to be careful. Up this way, a little bit steep, slippery. That's Mount Scorpion. So I came down this way, made my way over and up. Okay, I've made it to the top of Black Hill. Looks like a peak register there. Okay, I'm going to head over to peak 3954, which I believe is right here. For a point of reference, Railroad Hill is right down here. The top of Black Hill is right here. To get down, to, uh, to this saddle area to get up to uh, to the next peak. One way might be to backtrack a bit and then go down and around. But um, I may just, um, it looks like it's also possible to just kind of climb down here and get down there. So I'm gonna explore that area. I was able to climb down okay. No problems. Black Hill is up there. So I've just been kind of coming down. Got to go down here a bit more. Probably this way. And then get to peak 3952 or whatever that elevation is. Well, I've made my way down and around, and it's been kind of intense. Just looking down, that's peak 3954, so I just kind of need to make my way laterally and then up. Getting closer to peak 3954. So I need to go across here and start making my way up. That's the peak. And I'm thinking after that, I may just head back to my car down that, uh, down that saddle area and then that slope. 
I'm feeling pretty beat. Spike Hill. I made my way down and across. Peak 3954. Right up here. Well, I'm at the top of Peak 3954. Oh, it's quite a, quite a workout. There's Railroad Peak. Yeah, to get there, I can go down this way. I even see a trail down there. I think the saddle is over here. I may just go down the saddle and get back to my car. I will save Railroad Peak for another day. Yeah, again, this must be Railroad Hill over here. There. And then Arden Peak is the peak with the antennas and Black Mountain, the peak to the left. Oh, well, coming down. Just gotten a little bit steeper here. It's a bit slippery too, as usual. Made it to this trail. I'm gonna follow it to around this mound here. This way. Here's the saddle area to the north of Railroad Peak. I've made it to the saddle area and come over the, from this way. Yeah, Railroad Peak is up there. The shadows are getting long and I, I've had enough. This has been an intense day. From here, I just kind of scrambled down that way. Just gonna keep going down, probably do a Spider-Man crawl down there. Made my way down this slot. I did have to do that Spider-Man crawl. Just gonna go down this way now. I've been coming down, down, down. Got back my, uh, took out my hiking poles, my hiking gloves. I'm following a GPS track of someone who went to Railroad Peak and back. He seemed to have parked like right over this way. Yeah, the road looks to me like right here. There's that road. Actually, that's the very end of the road too, right there. So, make a left, head west. Just looking back at where I came down, 
Let's go down this way and over to the road. Here's the road I came on when I walked up here this morning. So I'll just make a left and that'll lead me straight back to my car. Should be a little bit less than a mile from here. Well, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. That was a good, long, challenging route. This is not a hiking adventure. This is a mountaineering adventure. So you're gonna be doing a lot of scrambling a little bit of climbing up, climbing down. And you're gonna be on uh, some slippery terrain, that's for sure.